Hi, my name is Said Hashimi. I immigrated with my wife and three young children from Afghanistan in 2016. I grew up in Afghanistan and as a refugee in Pakistan. I worked in Afghanistan from 2005 to 2016 as a journalist and translator with the BBC and NATO. In the US, I worked at the New American Center in Lynn, Massachusetts, assisting other new immigrants and refugees. I'm now a communication officer at the Afghan Embassy in Washington, D.C. This is my first work on documentary film. Here is my film. Thanks for watching. About your, your parents. parents. Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? <laughs> I never thought that I will be in this country. I never heard about America when I was a little kid. And now I am here in a big country. Bhutan? Um, yeah. I'm one of the case managers for the refugees here in New American Center. Did you learn any way to get this? Okay. I'm going to How many more dumplings you are making? I was born in Bhutan. My whole family came to refugee camp in 1991, and I stayed there in refugee camp for more than 17 years. Well. Be some. Yeah, yeah. Look at that, Jack. Looks so yummy, right? Yeah. I have uh, three boys with my wife. They are now more used to with the American food, not our cultural food. I do prepare uh, American food, like sometimes my wife's. She definitely do most of our traditional food. I choose the easy way, steaks and burgers and hot dogs. <laughs> What's this? Is this done? No. Not yet? Mm -hmm. Little bit of time? Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you I have a piece of paper. I have a piece of I have Back in our country, it was very hard to practice our own religion. There was some of the religious persecution. Bhutan government brought a policy called Diglam Namja, which means one nation, one people, one religion. And Bhutan is the Buddhist country. People can go to the church. There was no church. People can read Bibles. We don't have that fear here, and that makes us feel very happy. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Good morning. This is Money from Lynn Community Health Center. I am calling to schedule an appointment for you. In Lynn Community Health Center, I used to be an interpreter but now my role is a community health worker. Father, mother, yeah. they all live there? Yeah, all in oh. Cambodia. Yeah, Cambodia, me, I live in all in one. Are you working in? Uh... I work the Uber driver. Oh, you do Uber driver? Yeah. Wow, good. We had a lot of stories, patients sharing us that they have a lot of anxiety and they have a lot of difficulties going on. They even don't feel comfortable to walk into the health center. They feel like they might be arrested, they might be deported. This is really sad for me. Yeah, nothing, nothing. Very good. Let me go get your medicine. People came here basically for hope. They are seeking help from us. Good to see you.
ठीक है तो क्या करूँ बने नहीं आ तब मैं को पहला को आ पनी जो चीजें रुपए रखे रा अनि यो पने रखे रा एक जोटी आ तो घर उन्हें अर्शन का बॉस रा यो जो फोन करे रा व्हेन आई केम इन द यूएस एज रेफ्यूजी इट वाज लिटिल बिट चैलेंजेस फॉर माय सेल्फ इन टर्म्स ऑफ लैंग्वेज we know a little bit of English, but it is very hard for um, people to understand what we are trying to say. As soon as I get here, I started going to the ESL class. My teachers, they guide me how to navigate things here. So I started helping our own community. Oh, you could have seen her song, If we can sit down with one refugees and immigrants, we will be amazed by listening their stories and their experiences in their life. A refugee is that person who has lost everything in his life, but he haven't give up his hope. He still has hope, he still has energy, he still has power. We just uh, need a little bit of help and support. Once in a week, we all come together, share our prayers, struggles. It was very hard for people who are 50 and older. They feel very lonely. They are isolated at their home. So when we have that kind of gathering, and they feel so happy, and um, they are always welcome. I don't know uh, American people who, who are here, why they uh, don't want immigrants or refugees here. I don't understand because when I look back to the history of America, there are so many people who are immigrant. Even the white peoples migrated from different countries. They work hard, they got a hope, they got help. We should uh, continue. No matter who, whether we are white, green, black, brown, all are human and we have the same red blood.